Hi dear viewers in this episode general conception of a current transformer with connection diagram is presented here to you please watch substitution episode also to get more conception and knowledge if you want before starting main subject please watch a view of a 33 kV bay this is pass side isolator this is circuit breaker these are current transformers this is line side isolator this is three phase power cable of suitable rating these are relays lighting resistors This is a view of a 33 kV bay situated at the switch yard of a substation. All metallic part except live parts will have to made art with suitable earthing mat situated under the ground this is an image of a 33 kb current transformer these are connectors for making connection with other apparatus this is primary leads This is primary bushing act as insulators. This is gas vent to exit excessive gas stockard. This is tank where windings and cores are kept deep into transformer well. These are secondary leads and bushings. Secondary windings connection are drawn outside through these bushing and leads. Let's see the drawings. P1 and P2 are the connection leads of primary winding. S1 and S2 are the connecting leads of secondary winding. If the direction of flow of current of primary winding along P1 and P2, then the direction of flow of current in the secondary winding is opposite to that of primary. CT is only operated under short circuit condition. Now see the drawings of current transformers winding and cores P1 and P2 are its primary windings connection lead It has only one core at secondary side having secondary leads S1 and S2 The reading is 200 by 1 ampere which means current when flows 200 ampere through primary then secondary current will be 1 ampere again please watch the image here rating 400 200 oblique 1 ampere that means the magnitude of flow of normal current along p1 and p2 either 400 ampere or 200 ampere will be restricted and depend on sorting either of s1 and s3 or of s1 and s2 that is if sorting done between s1 and s3 then 400 ampere normal current will be allowed along p1 and p2 on the other hand if sorting done between s1 and s2 then 200 ampere normal current will be allowed along p1 and p2 in the third picture we see the rating is 200 ampere by 1 ampere and 1 ampere that means secondary has two core one s1 and one s2 two s1 and two s2 current flows at both secondary windings is 1 ampere when 200 ampere normal current flows along p1 and p2 please watch the picture here the city has two core secondary windings 
will be used for two different purposes. Rating is 400, 200 by 1, 1 ampere. Two setting at the primary side, 400 ampere and 200 ampere are available. Depend on lead connection at secondary side. To allow 400 ampere normal current along P1 and P2, secondary leads of both cores connection will be at 1S1 and 1S3 and at 2S1 and 2S3. Similarly, to allow 200 ampere normal current along P1 and P2, secondary lead connection will be at 1S1 and 1S2 and at 2S1 and 2S2. Please watch the next picture where ratings are 400, 200 by 1, 1, 1 ampere. These are the picture of secondary leads. These are drilling type terminal block generally used for city connection in a city junction box. If required, disconnection of terminal wires can be achieved by this terminal block. MAS of two core, three terminal city secondary leads 1S1, 1S2, 1S3 and 2S1, 2S2 and 2S3 of R phase, Y phase and B phase city are drawn here. Please watch the connection of the wires. Two four core control cable are laid from control panel to city junction box. D11, D31, D51, D71, ferrule wire are used for metering purpose. C11. C31, C51, C71 ferrule wires are used for protection purpose. Watch the connections at control and relay panel at control room.
during testing work or insertion of other measuring instrument and extra relays with the city circuit before disconnection of wire at terminal block city secondaries should be sorted by suitable sorting clips to avoid any damage of city and injury of working personnel Thank you.